discuss this with Enes Bayrakle. He's an associate professor of political science at the Turkish German University here in Istanbul. Enes, thank you for this, your time this Sunday evening. I understand that you're also a friend of Farid Hafez and you've worked alongside with him. How has this traumatic event affected him and his family? Yes, <clears throat> as you mentioned, I know Farid uh, for about 20 years now and we've been publishing European Islamophobia report. Uh, since 2015. It's an annual report. Uh, and this uh, event uh, has, of course, affected Farid Hafez and his family uh, deeply. Uh, he is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder after this uh, event. At 5 o'clock in the morning, police, anti-terror uh, police teams raided his house, and his uh, children were uh, awakened by the police, highly, uh, heavily uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, and then, uh, since then, they are not really uh, sleeping well. And, of course, uh, this is uh, really outrageous. I mean, this is unacceptable. Uh, he is a well-known uh, academic, internationally recognized scholar working on Islamophobia and anti-Muslim racism. Uh, and uh, at the same time, he has been publishing uh, also on other issues, especially he was criticizing. Uh, he was a vocal critic of Austrian Islam politics, and I think that's why he was targeted in this manner. And uh, the, uh, at the same time, I, mean, I have to mention this, the police also left a bullet in, in his house after they left the home. Uh, and this is, uh, this is something, uh, I mean, I cannot believe this. This is happening, but unfortunately, it happened. Yeah, it seems quite unbelievable that it's happening uh, in a country like uh, Austria. But why do you think we are seeing such anti-Muslim sentiment, especially in Austria, where I understand up until quite recently, Islam was actually recognized as an official religion? Unfortunately, this is a, this is a global trend, and uh, this is a European-wide trend we see. Uh, <clears throat> in Austria, there were always far-right parties, and uh, there was a strong uh, far-right party, uh, and in 2000, around 2000, they became also part of coalition in Austria. However, what we have seen from that moment on, especially after 9-11, we seen gradually that Muslims were, uh, 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 Muslim became, I mean, the, the target of the far-right political parties. And unfortunately, the mainstream political parties have adopted this uh, agenda of anti-Muslimness anti-Muslim uh, racism, and, uh, and gradually it has become something normal. Now we see uh, that the, in, the, in Austria, the far-right party is not in the power, is not part of the coalition. Uh, um, however, the uh, mainstream uh, conservative party, uh, Christian Democratic Party, uh, they became the far-right party, uh, I mean, in the last five years. And unfortunately, this was a gradual process. But in 20 years now, the whole to total pol uh, the politics of Austria has been uh, transformed. Now, uh, as you mentioned, that Islam has been uh, officially uh, was officially recognized in Austria. Uh, now uh, it has become uh, one of the most Islamophobic, unfortunately, uh, states in, in Europe. Uh, uh, together with France, we can mention this. Mm, uh, Inez, uh, we're going to have to leave it there. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.